Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today's deal comes to you from Walmart and this is a unique haul because I didn't use any coupons that I brought from home. So this is a completely coupon free deal with the exception of one PLE that I found in the store. So hopefully you guys can find that as well if you're wanting to do this deal. Now I was working toward that double in the cash bonus and my offer said that I had to hit 40 offers to get $10 back. I needed six left. I also needed six offers to complete my I bought a level two bonus of a dollar. So I hit both of those bonuses in this haul, making it a completely free haul plus a huge money maker. If you're new to my channel, I'm so, so glad that you clicked on this video. I'm hoping that it really helps you guys, especially those of you who are new to couponing. So if you don't have any coupons at all, hopefully you can do some or all of this haul. As always, check your accounts. Ibotta accounts and rebate apps do vary. Uh, rebates can disappear at any time as well. So definitely check your accounts before you go shopping to make sure that you have the same rebates that I have. I will leave links in the description box below to Ibotta. In case you're new to it, you can click on the link and sign up for completely free. I will also leave other rebate apps in the description box for you guys, and they're all free to sign up. I'm also going to leave a printable breakdown. So you can print that out and take it with you to the store, or you can use it to help you create your own list, or you can pull it up on your phone on the Google Docs app. So let's jump into these deals. I was so, so excited about this deal. I've never tried these products. So the Betty Crocker cookie cups are $3.39, and then the Betty Crocker cupcake kits are $4.98. So total for both would be $8.37. I did pay that out of pocket, but I bought is giving us $1.25 back on the cookie cups and $1.25 back on the cupcake kits. I also had a 10 cent any brand pie crust rebate that attached to both of these. I only got that once though, but if you buy one or the other item, that rebate should attach. And then I bought a had a 50 cent bonus for buying both of these. Shopkick also has a bundle when we buy both and we scan these in the store on the Shopkick app, we get $3.12 back. So my final cost for both of these was just $2.15 with no coupons. That's amazing. And just a side note, if your kids don't really like unicorns, they did have some really cool looking galaxy cupcake kits and some dinosaur cupcake kits. There are also a lot of different flavors of the cookie cups as well. If you've watched my channel before, you've probably seen this deal. This is the Malto Meal Cereal Bundle Deal on Shopkick. So this is the fourth time that I have done this deal. It keeps resetting and I'm gonna keep grabbing it as long as I can because it's a huge money maker. So the deal is you have to buy one of any flavor of Malto Meal Cereal and you also have to buy one of the Berry Colossal Crunch or the 2D Fruities. If you can find these 11 and a half ounce bags, they're only a dollar. The rebate doesn't specify how big the bags need to be. If Shopkick doesn't like your receipt and rejects it, you can take a picture of the cereals and you can submit an email and attach the picture, letting them know this is what you bought and I also always point out where these items are on my receipt. I always scan the cereals last so that I can say to them, it's very easy to find the items that are at the very bottom. So that's happened to me every single time I've submitted my receipt. It seems like they've picked up on one, but not the other cereal. And when I submit that email to them, they have always corrected it and given me my cash back. So you'll pay $2 out of pocket but Shopkick should give you back $6.80, making your final cost completely free plus a $4.80 moneymaker. It's phenomenal. And here's Gizmo joining us. Look at that cute little face. Okay, so the 
Lola Ultra Thin Pads, the 14 count, or I'm sorry, not pads, liners. The 14 count liners are $2.98. We have a dollar Ibotta rebate on this item. And then Ibotta is also giving us a dollar back for our second purchase of a Lola product. If you watched my last Walmart haul, you saw I picked up a different Lola product. And if you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch it. A lot of those rebates are still good. So with that dollar bonus, my final cost for this product ended up just 98 cents, but that's also before my Dublin the cash bonus. And I had to do the Kraft mac and cheese again. So these are 98 cents a box. Ibotta is giving me 20 cents back. And then since this was my fifth time doing this deal, I got another 50 cent bonus back from Ibotta making my final cost 28 cents before other Ibotta bonuses. Okay guys, so I'm trying to think of a way to explain this to you guys without sounding preachy, but I'm just gonna kind of put out there my personal thoughts and feelings. You do not have to share my personal thoughts and feelings. You can disagree with me, that's fine. Um, but lately, God has really been testing my integrity with glitch deals and double dipping and all the cute little phrases that we use to justify like not following the policies. Um, so again, no judgment on anybody. It's just this is, you know, something that God's been challenging me about. So I noticed on Ibotta, we have these two rebates for each of these hair colors and they're fantastic rebates. So for the nice and easy, we have a $3 Ibotta rebate and a $2 Ibotta rebate. They both attach to this one box, but according to Ibotta policy, the only time we can use two rebates on one item is if it's an any brand rebate. So like over here, when we had the cookie cups and then the any brand pie crust, we're allowed to use both of those. But if we had two cookie cups rebates, technically we're not supposed to use both. So you do as you feel comfortable doing. Again, no judgment, you guys. Um, I just wanted to explain why my totals are gonna be different than some other people's because I didn't select both rebates. So when I scanned these products on my receipt, both rebates popped up for each item and I actually unchecked the lower value rebate on each item. And that's not easy, you guys. Um, I just feel like God tests me in certain areas until I master that area that he's testing me in. And then once I am like, you know, graduating to the next level of what he's trying to teach me, then he moves on and tries to teach me something else. So this is just the thing that he's been working on my heart about lately. Um, so I'm really trying to follow the rebate rules and coupon rules and all of that. So all of that said, I wanted to explain again why my totals are going to be the way they are. So I grabbed one of these clear all nice and easy on clearance for $3.75 and there's been a lot of clearance on hair color at my store. So hopefully you can find some too. This is the 6A light ash brown. So look for that and I don't know if it helps but I'll share the barcode with you guys. So $3.75 for that one. And then this one was unmarked, but I scanned it on the Walmart app and it was priced at $4.75. So this is the Clairol Root Touch-Up 5R. And here's the barcode on that one. So if you bought both of these, your total would be $8.50. I did pay that out of pocket. But we also have printable coupons that you guys could use on that. I opted to use the $5 off of two Clairol hair collar coupon on the coupons app. So I scanned my receipt into the app when I got home and they gave me my $5 into my PayPal account. And then Ibotta, again, has two different rebates for each of these, but um, I used the higher value rebates. So I used the $3.50 rebate for the root touch-up and then the $3 rebate for the nice and easy. And then Ibotta has a dollar bonus when you buy or when you redeem two offers. 
So my final cost ended up being completely free plus a $4 money maker. And that's without using those extra bonuses. Now I know these were on clearance, so that definitely helped. If you bought them full price, I think they're $6.92, it says. So your total would be higher, um, but definitely check your clearance section. Hopefully you guys can find some great things there. This was an awesome freebie because I'm trying to eat more fruits in the morning. So I was really happy to grab this. This is the Great Value brand frozen blueberries, and they're $2.36 for the 16-ounce bag. I was actually looking for the organic. I couldn't find them. I'm not sure if those would qualify for the rebate, but I know that this one worked. So Shopkick has a rebate giving us $2.88 back when we scan this item on the Shopkick app in the store and we submit our receipt to Shopkick. So after that rebate, my final cost was free plus a 52 cent money maker. I love when we can get something like that that we use anyway for completely free. Now here was the only item that I used a coupon on and it was a Peely. So the Tresemme Pro Advanced Shampoo and Conditioner, there are lots of different kinds. This time I grabbed the Pro Care Curls and it's 20 fluid ounces. I grabbed the shampoo. These are $4.94. So I found a $1.50 Peely and you guys, the irony of this. So if you followed my channel, you know about my favorite cashier at Self Checkout. He loves to challenge my coupons. When they don't go through, he rarely just puts them through without any issue. So I, I had no coupons. I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be like one time when I don't have to have him come over and approve anything. This Peely beeped, you guys. This Peely, it didn't take. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? I thought I was getting away scot-free without having to interact with that cashier. That must be another God thing. He must want me to be interacting with that person for some reason. Maybe he's also working on my patience, you guys. <laughs> but at any rate, that Peely didn't want to go through. So it was $1.50 off. Um... And what's funny is the cashier, he put it in after looking at it for a few seconds and he said, oh, I'm feeling generous. I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you. <laughs> How nice of you to give me uh, the, the coupon that, that should have gone through. Anyway, $1.50 Peely and then Shopkick is giving me back $3.70. So my final cost for this was free plus a 26 cent money maker. The Dove Soap, so this is 97 cents. This was in the trial travel section. We have a Shopkick rebate. I've never done this before, so I don't know how easily it'll go through, but Shopkick should be giving me $1.74 back, making this free plus a 77 cent money maker. Now the picture in the Shopkick rebate does have like the eight count bars, but the rebate doesn't specify that you have to get the eight count bars. It just says Dove Beauty Bar. So I'm taking a chance that this will work. We'll see. If it doesn't, no big deal. It was, you know, 97 cents. And then the Gillette travel size deodorant, I have done this before and it has worked. So $1.97 for this. Ibotta gave me a dollar back already for that. Doesn't specify any particular size. And then Shopkick should give me $1.60 back, making my final cost free plus a 63 cent money maker. And that has worked in the past. So shouldn't really have any issues. As long as it doesn't specify a size, we should be good. So I think I made it through everything. Not a huge haul. I think I got 12 items, but I was so happy with my final numbers. So my subtotal for everything was $31.57. I did have eight different Ibotta rebates in this haul. Ibotta gave me back $25.30. Now that's including all those bonuses. Shopkick should be giving me $16.28 back. The coupons app gave me my $5. Um, I always scan my receipts in to fetch for some bonus points and they gave me five cents. So my final cost for everything was completely free plus a $15.06 money maker. That might be my biggest money maker at Walmart. I don't know. 
So here is my receipt. As I mentioned, no coupons that I took with me, only the one Peely and he had to manually put it in. There's my Malto meal cereal. So if they have an issue, I'll be able to take a picture of that and point out to them. It's the last two items on my receipt. And then I used gift cards to pay. So I literally paid nothing and I should be getting a total of $15.06 extra back. So, super, super happy. Um, if you guys have any questions for me about any of this, let me know in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hi, I love hearing from you guys. Gizmo loves hearing from you guys. <laughs> He's pretty subdued today, so I'm happy about that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing. I appreciate it. I'm past 800 subscribers. My goal was 800 by the end of the month. So thank you so much for helping me to hit that goal. So my new goal would be at least 850 by the end of April and my birthday's in April. So help me meet that goal. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you again so, so much for watching you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day and until next time guys, happy couponing.